Hello everyone and welcome back to Taking Time Out With Me, Mrs Love. I hope you've all had a great week. Can you remember what we spoke about last time? Well it was Children's Mental Health Week and we were concentrating on the theme, Express Yourself. And hopefully from that lesson, you have the confidence to be who you are, do what you want to do, and not be scared to show how you're feeling in whatever way you can. That was the whole point of last week, expressing yourself so people know who you really are. Today we're returning to our Doobie Mindful journey and our progress as Doobie Explorers. In our previous Doobie lessons, we were introduced to the skills of attention and awareness. Both of these skills are the building blocks in mindfulness and they're important in helping us to concentrate and absorb things when we're learning. We've practiced the skills of mindful breathing and mindful listening alongside this. And most recently, we've practiced. In today's lesson, we're building on this to help nurture. Let's look at what we need for today's lesson. Your usual quiet, comfortable spot with space to move around a little today. Also, you need to bring your mindful body. You should be beginning to know what that is and, and, and be able to bring that with you to your lessons each week. In the feed, I gave you a little bit of warning. You need two different pieces of fruit and cut them up if you need to. We're going to do a little bit of exploring with them. And then finally, Last time, we practiced mindful movement, making the effort to really slow down as we stood up and moved our bodies. Can you remember what that did and how it felt? It's probably felt quite strange. I know it did for me. We're just not used to doing things really slowly. We're probably used to rushing around and getting things done as quickly as we can. Well. Today we're going to build on that practice and, and give it another go. But remember that when we begin each mindfulness lesson, we begin with a mindful breathing practice. Because we managed to do one minute last time, we're going to try two minutes this time. Now that's going to feel like a really long time. And there will be points obviously where it's quiet but I will guide you through it at points to help you stay focused. So, get into your mindful body, either sitting in a chair or lying down if you prefer, sitting on the floor, get comfy, breathe in, zip up that body from top to toe, take a few deep breaths, gently close your eyes, lower your gaze, and once you hear the gong, We'll begin. Breathing deep. Concentrate on your anchor spot. Feel the breath. If your body mind wanders, just pull it back gently. Breathing in and out.
halfway there. Hold your focus. Breathe in and out. You're doing well. Keep bringing that mind back to your anchor spot. Stay on focus. Almost there. A few more moments. Well done, everyone. Open your eyes and take one big deep breath. If you're lying down, take your time sitting up. That was a great job. It did feel long, I'm sure. So well done. How are you feeling? Calm and ready to learn, I hope. If you remember what I spoke about in our last lesson, about being on automatic pilot, have a think back over your week. Has there been points where you've been on automatic pilot? I know I have. Maybe you've brushed your teeth or made your breakfast or got dressed without even thinking about it. You just did it and realised it was done. Or maybe you found something somewhere in the house or in your room and you've put it there but you've got no recollection of doing that and maybe you're wondering how it got there. That's autopilot. Most of the time we're so busy doing things during the day that we're not aware of all the sensations and feelings in our bodies. If we don't notice things then we can miss out on so much and, and we end up taking many things for granted. So if we really try to be aware of what we're doing and the simple things in life, then life can be so much more interesting and fun. Saying that, today we're going to practice awareness in another everyday activity, something that we do several times a day, every day. Can you guess what it might be? I'll give you a hint. Think about one of the things I asked you to prepare for the lesson today. Yeah. Now's the time you need your fruit and a pair of clean hands. So if you've not got your fruit ready, go and get it, then come back. Don't eat it though. Not yet yet. Just. First, I'm going to ask you to explore and investigate your food. Choose one of your pieces of fruit. Just take a few moments to look at it as though you've never seen it before. What do you see? What shape and colour is it? Does it have any strange knobbly bits or does it look weird? What about its smell? Does it have a smell at all? Or is it strong? Or is it sweet? How does it feel? Are there any rough bits or is it smooth all over? Does it have hair on it? Hold it up to your ear. Move it about a little bit. Does it make a sound? Does it squelch or squish? Does it make a different type of sound? Try to notice what you're thinking while you explore the fruit with all of your senses. On you go. Get looking. Get smelling. 
get feeling, get listening. Okay now, time's up for that. It's now the time you've been waiting for. We're going to eat it, but we're going to eat it very, very slowly. I want you to... <laughs> Yum. I bet that tasted good. But how did it feel to be eating mindfully, slowly and deliberately? How did it feel to put the food in your mouth but not chew it? Was it strange? Did it not feel natural? Did it make you feel a wee bit annoyed? How did it feel when you were chewing the food? Did you notice anything you hadn't ever noticed when you were eating before? That's the whole point of stopping, slowing down and really thinking about what we're doing to notice things we miss. We're going to give it a go again. This time you need your second piece of fruit. Hold it now and you're going to do the same thing again. I want you to hold it, explore with your senses how it looks, feels, Smells. Mmm. I bet that tasted good. But did you notice anything different this time when you're eating? Or did it feel the same as your first piece of fruit? Were you aware of any thoughts as you were eating? What about feelings or sensations as you started eating? as you swallowed fruit and as you felt the fruit going right down into your tummy? Or what about when you'd finished eating? Did these thoughts or feelings or sensations in your body change at any point as you were eating? Today, we've practiced awareness of our thoughts and feelings or sensations in another everyday activity, eating. But why do you think that it might help us to be mindful when we're eating? Well, we often eat food when we're doing other things like watching telly or gaming or even when we're out and about on the move. But a lot of the time, too, we eat for reasons other than because we're hungry. Have you ever just eaten something for the sake of it, when you weren't even hungry in the first place? I know I've done this lots. Why do you think we do that? It's autopilot, isn't it? But the scary fact is that in Scotland, there are lots of problems caused by overeating, eating too often, eating too quickly, and eating too much junk food. Sometimes we eat when we're bored, or if we're stressed or worried or upset about something, and we go for comfort food, like chocolate, crisps, or ice cream, because it tastes good. Or maybe we eat just because it's a daily habit we don't think about. That's it, autopilot. Being mindful of eating can help us to become more aware of what we're So as we're beginning to learn about this, if we take time with simple daily activities and we're really trying to be do-be explorers, then we can become much more aware of what we're thinking and what we're feeling while we're doing it. This week, take your time with some simple daily activities. There are lots of things that we can do mindfully and explore in the same way we just explored mindful eating. Brushing your teeth, washing your hands, getting dressed, making beds, 
anything you're doing as a normal daily activity. Explore these mindfully, using your senses. Be slow, deliberate, be aware of what you're experiencing. Sensations, thoughts and feelings. Another thing you could try this week to further your learning is to eat one meal mindfully at home. Maybe you could ask your parents, carers or siblings to join in with you. Explain to them that they should be eating in slow motion. Guide them through it and ask them about it afterwards, just like I asked you about your experience. I know that when I make food for my family and we sit down together, sometimes I wish they would just take a little bit extra time. To be more mindful, to enjoy the food. Sometimes I think they eat it so quickly, they don't really know how it tastes or what it feels like. So, using your Explorer's Diary page this week might help you. You could record what your family and you think after eating your meal? How did it feel to eat the meal mindfully? Was it easy or hard to do it? Did you get distracted? If so, by what? Were you aware of chewing or swallowing your food as it was happening? Were you aware of when you became full and didn't need to eat anymore? I look forward to seeing some of you report back to me with your findings. Let's just think about what we set out to achieve today. We wanted to be able to understand that when we're busy, we don't notice things like our thoughts and feelings. We wanted to be able to be aware of thoughts and feelings and how your body feels when you're eating. We wanted to begin to understand that when we're aware of these thoughts and sensations in our bodies, that they can change depending on what you're doing. We have just touched on mindful eating today and I know you're going to go off and try some of this learning in other daily activities. Throughout the week, until we meet again, I'd like you to have a look at the seven tips for mindful eating sheet that I've attached to the feed today as well. It might help you a little bit more with your mindful eating activity. Eat a mindful meal with your family and complete page four in your Explorer diary. Also, Repeating a daily practice twice a day is also really helpful to stay mindful and train those puppy dog minds. And hopefully I'll see you all again back here next week. Stay safe, stay well, stay positive everyone. Bye!